Okay, so here is a feedback amplifier. We have Q1 and Q2 acting as our forward path amplifier, and we have a feedback network that consists of RE and RF. Now, with respect to the input, we can go either through the forward amplifier to ground, or we can go through our feedback path to ground, and that would complete the circuit. So we know that we have a shunt connection at the input. Now with respect to the output, we can go either through our feedback path or we can go through our amplifier and that would also complete the circuit. So we have a shunt connection at the output. So this is shunt shunt feedback and we know that that's used for trans resistance amplifiers. This means that our input will be a current and our output will be a voltage. Now to find beta, we're going to use our Y parameters. So here's our feedback network. Beta is equal to I1 over B2 when B1 is equal to zero. So we're going to short B1, we're going to put a test voltage source into V2, and we're going to measure the current that flows into the short circuit. Now, in fact, beta is equal to 1 over RF. Next, we need to find the feedback loading. To do this, we need to find Y11, which is equal to I1 over V1, when V2 is equal to 0. This is also equal to 1 over RF. And we need to find Y22, which is equal to I2 over V2, when V1 is equal to 0. This is equal to 1 over RF in parallel with RE. Now we're going to take these parameters and put them on our open loop circuit. So here's our open loop circuit. We're going to put a resistance 1 over Y11 on the input and a resistance 1 over Y22 on the output. And we're going to calculate the gain I in to V out, or actually V out over I in. This is equal to R pi 1 parallel with RF times GM 1 times R C. Sorry, R L. Oops. Sorry yet again. I meant R one as drawn. Now this is the case because transistor Q two is acting as a buffer. All right, once we have this, we can find the closed loop gain and our impedances and bandwidth. The closed loop gain is equal to AR divided by one plus AR times beta, which in general is approximately equal to one over beta. Our input resistance is with feedback
is equal to the input resistance without feedback divided by 1 plus AR times beta. The output resistance, RO with feedback, is equal to RO without feedback divided by 1 plus AR times beta. And our bandwidth with feedback is equal to our open loop bandwidth times 1 plus AR times beta. Now when we're finding input resistance, output resistance, and bandwidth, we use the techniques that we've used all along during the course of this course, uh, meaning that we find our input resistance using inspection analysis, place a voltage source and measure the current that flows through it. Same thing for the output resistance. And for the bandwidth, we would be using our open loop time circuit analysis. All right. Now with that, we'll try and show a couple of examples of different amplifiers beyond just this shunt shunt uh, in the next couple of videos.